This is going to be a video tutorial on how to create emojis on a web page. I will be using VS Code in the Google Chrome web browser for this. Let me jump over to my browser here. This right here is the web page that I will be creating. It's just a pretty simple little web page. Uh, the whole point of it is to add emojis. You could add emojis uh, by themselves. As you can see this top row, I just have a row of emojis up here. You could also add emojis within your text. As you can see these next two lines, I have emojis added with my uh, text. Down below here, you can also change your emojis. This top line up here, is an emoji without any skin tone added. The next line, it has a light skin tone added. The next line is a medium light skin tone added to the emoji. Uh, the next one is a medium skin tone, then a medium dark, and then a dark skin tone. This is all very easy to do. Let me jump over to the uh, W3 schools and uh, show you a little reference page here. I will uh, place this uh, page down in the description, but this is a pretty good reference here for uh, uh, emojis, HTML emojis. This is the uh, W3 Schools website here, and uh, what this is, this gives you hundreds of emojis here. You can find other references online too, which is basically the same as this, but I'm using this one here. The way that you uh, add emojis, as you can see this top one here is a, an emoji of a watch. Next to it, it has a decimal number here. You could either use the decimal number or you could use this hex number. The following column here is hex numbers. And the way that you use these numbers, what you would do if you wanted to use uh, either one of the numbers, if you wanted to use one of the decimal numbers, what you need to do is add the and sign and the pound symbol in front of that decimal number. And if you want to use one of the hexadecimal numbers, one of the hex numbers, it's very similar other than you add the and sign, the pound symbol, and a lowercase x in front of the hexadecimal number. So to use this uh, decimal number, all you need to do is place the and sign and the pound symbol in front of it. To use the hex number, you would need to place the uh, and sign, the pound symbol, and a lowercase x in front of this number. Let me jump over to VS Code and I'll recreate that page. Okay, I have VS Code opened up now. First thing I'm going to do is create a folder. I'm going to go up to the File tab. I'm going to click on File. I'm going to go down to Open Folder. I'm actually going to be creating a folder, but I'll click on Open Folder. The pane off to the left side here, I'm going to click on Desktop. So I'm going to place my folder on my desktop. I'm going to scroll down to an empty area and I'm going to right click in that empty area. Then I'm going to go down to where it says new and straight across to folder. I'm going to click on folder. Now I'm just going to name this emojis. I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to click on Select Folder. Now as you can see in the Explorer pane off to the left side, you can see I have my folder right there. I'm going to place my mouse cursor over that folder and I'm going to click on that first little icon there. If you place your mouse cursor over it, it says New File. I'm going to click on New File. I'm going to call this index.html. I'm going to hit Enter. Now you can see I have my index.html file open here. I'm going to make the uh, exclamation point and I'm going to hit enter or you could click on this first wrench here. I'm going to hit enter. There is my boilerplate. One thing important, you want to make sure you hit, uh, that your uh, HTML document has this meta tag here. Char set UTF-8. Uh, for making the emojis, you'll need that uh, char set there. Anyways, down in the title, I'm just going to name it Emojis. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom area. I'm going to place my mouse cursor at the end of that opening body tag. I'm going to hit Enter twice. 
Okay, I'm going to start off by creating that uh, row of emojis that I had. I placed them into a paragraph tag. I'm going to create a paragraph tag. I'm going to close it. I'm going to hit enter to separate my opening and closing paragraph tags. And I'm going to add some styling to this paragraph. And that's just simply to enlarge the emojis and to uh, align them to the center. I'm going to place my mouse cursor just after the P on the opening paragraph tag. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to type style equals double quotations. And I'm going to type font size font size and I'm going to give this a font size of 72 pixels. I'm going to place my mouse cursor just after the semicolon there and I'm going to add text align. I'm going to center it and like I said that's just to uh, increase the emoji size and to align them to the center. Now I'm going to place my mouse cursor at the end of that opening paragraph tag. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line. And I'm going to jump back over to that uh, web page here. And I'm just going to choose that first emoji there and I'm going to use the first number 8986, the decimal number. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to jump back over to VS Code. And now for a decimal number, you want to start off with the and sign and then the pound symbol. And then I'll paste in that num number that I just copied, the decimal number. And then you want to end it with a semicolon. Then I'm going to go up to File and down to Save. Uh, then I'm going to jump over to the web page that I just created. I'm going to open in my browser here. I'm going to hit refresh. And there is my first emoji right there. It's a watch. I'm going to jump back over to the uh, W3Schools reference page. And I'm going to do that second one there. And this time I'm going to use the hex number. I'm going to use the second number. I'm going to copy it. This is going to be an emoji of a uh, little timer thingy there. I'm going to jump back over to VS Code. I'm going to place my mouse cursor at the end of that semicolon. I'm going to make a space. And for a hex number, you need to start off the same way. The and, pound, and then you want to make a lowercase x. Then I will paste in the number that I just copied. And, pound, lowercase x, paste in the uh, number I copied. And you want to make sure you put a semicolon there. Now if I go up to File and down to Save, if I jump back over to my web page, I'm going to go back to the emojis page. I'm going to refresh, and there's my second emoji. I'm going to jump back over to the W3Schools reference page. You could use any one of these uh, emojis here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to use this hand one here. I'm going to use the decimal number, the first one. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy. Like I said, you could use any one of them. I'm going to make a space, and for a decimal number, you need to do the and symbol, and sign, the pound symbol, and then paste in your number. Then you want to make sure you add a uh, semicolon. As you can see, when I add that semicolon, it turns from the uh, code number here turns from white to blue. I'm going to go up to File, down to Save, jump back over to my web page. Turn that off there. I'm going to hit refresh. And there's my third emoji. I'll do just a couple more. I'll just choose any one of them. I'm going to choose the hex number for this one here. Copy. You could choose any one of them. I'm going to go back to VS Code. I'm going to make a space after my semicolon. This is a hex number. So I will use the N symbol, the pound symbol, lowercase x. I'm going to paste in that hex number and I'll finish it off with a semicolon. Now I'm going to go back over to uh, the W3Schools reference page. 
and I'm going to choose one last one. I'm going to use, I'll use this one here, and I'll use the first number, which is a decimal number. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to jump back over to VS Code. I'm going to make a space after my semicolon. And for a decimal number, I need the and symbol, pound symbol. I'll paste in my number, and I'll close it with a semicolon. I'll go up to File, down to Save. I'll jump back over to my web page. I'll go back to my website here. I'll refresh. And there's five emojis right there. I'm back on VS Code now. Now I'm going to show you how to add an emoji within your text. I'm going to go to this uh, closing paragraph tag. I'm going to place my mouse cursor just after it. I'm going to hit enter twice. And I'm going to create an H1 tag. I'm going to close that tag. I'm going to add the same styling that I have up here for the paragraph. That's just to enlarge the emoji. Actually, I'm going to copy it. That's just to enlarge the emoji. I'm going to go down to copy and to center align it. I'm going to place my mouse cursor just after the one on the opening H1 tag. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to paste that in there. Font size 72 pixels, text align center. Now I'm going to place my mouse cursor between my H1 and H, my opening H1 tag and my closing H1 tag. I'm going to start off, I'm going to say, I hope you are. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to add a decimal emoji here. I'm going to create the and symbol, the pound symbol. And I already know what this is. I'm just going to paste it in here. And I'm going to finish that off with a semicolon. Then I'm going to make another space. And I'm going to type and all as well. Exclamation point. Now if I go up to file. And down to save. And jump back over to my web page. I'm going to hit refresh. And there is an emoji within the text there. And now the next phase, I'm going to jump over to my original web page here. I'm going to show you how to add skin tone to an emoji. Let me jump back over to VS Code here. Okay, I'm back on VS Code now. I need to point out that uh, only some of the emojis you can change the uh, skin tone on. A lot of the faces and most of the hands you can change the skin tone on, but you can't change the skin tone on all emojis. Anyways... I'm going to put my mouse cursor at the end of this last closing H1 tag here. I'm going to hit enter a couple times. I'm going to create another H1 tag. I'm going to close it. I'm going to give this, I'm going to put my mouse cursor just after the one on the opening H1 tag. I'm going to do a space. I'm going to type style equals double quotations. And I'm just going to give this a font size of 72 pixels. Font size. And I'm going to go 72 pixels. 72 px. And I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I'm going to place my mouse cursor between the opening and closing H1 tag there. And I'm going to hit enter a couple of times to give me a little separation. I'm going to place my mouse cursor at the end of this opening H1 tag. I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to I'm going to use the same hand that I used on my original web page. It is a decimal number. So I'm going to go and pound. And I'm going to paste the number in there. The number is 129306. I'm going to add a semicolon. I'm going to make a space. And I'm going to type without skin tone. I'm going to create a page break here, or a line break rather, BR. I'm going to hit enter to go down. I'm going to use the same uh, emoji there. I'm going to do and pound sign. I'm going to paste that decimal number in there. I'm going to close it with a semicolon. I'm going to jump over to a document that I created here. Okay, how to change an emoji skin tone. I have uh, five different ones here. 
The first one is the uh, lightest skin tone. If you add this number just after your uh, decimal number or your hex number with no space, you just add this in and it will change the emoji to a uh, light skin tone. The second one is a medium light skin tone. The next one is a medium skin tone followed by a medium dark skin tone. And then the final one is uh, the darkest skin tone. I'm going to start off with the lightest skin tone. If you uh, notice, these numbers are all identical other than the last number. This one ends in 995. The next one ends in 996. The next one 997, followed by 998 and 999. Let me jump back over to VS Code here. Okay, this first one here, I'm going to use the lightest skin tone. So just after that semicolon, you don't add any space, I'm going to do and, the pound symbol, 127.995. I'm going to make a uh, semicolon. I'm going to make a space. And this is the lightest skin tone. I'm going to do another uh, break here, BR. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line. And I'm just going to copy this uh, copy this decimal here because I'm using the same one on every one just to show the differences. I'm going to paste it in there. I'm going to do and the pound symbol 127 and this will be 996. Now I'll finish it off with a semicolon. I'll make a space and I'll do medium dash light skin tone. I'm going to do another BR, make another break here. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line. I'm going to paste that uh, original emoji in there. I'm going to do and, pound, and this time I'm going to go 127.997. I'm going to do a semicolon, and this is a medium skin tone. I'm going to do a page break here, or a line break, I guess I should say. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to paste that original emoji in there. I'm going to do and, pound sign, and then I'll go 127, 998. I'll do a semicolon. I'm going to make a space, and this will be a medium dark. I'm going to do another BR tag create a, uh, a line break. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to paste in this the original emoji again. I'm going to do and the pound symbol 127.999. I'm going to do a semicolon. I'm going to do a space and this is a dark skin tone. Now I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to save this. File, save, I'm going to jump back over to my web page. And here we have it. This top one is without skin tone, without any uh, skin tone, just a normal emoji. The next one is uh, an emoji with the lightest skin tone. Then a, the next one is a medium light skin tone. The uh, next one is a medium skin tone, followed by a medium dark. And then the final one is a dark skin tone. That is how you use HTML to add emojis to a web page. Thanks for watching.